I'm good. So we're going to make a nice hearty stew because that's what you want this time of year. Exactly. It's getting colder. Yeah. So we want something comforting. Mm -hmm. um, and and uh, yeah, Halloween's like just around the corner. Yes. So uh, they, they're calling for snow. Stop it. Uh, that's what they said. Take it back. I hope not. <laughs> But uh, we want something comforting, so we're going to make a fish stew, and we're going to use monkfish. So tell me a little bit about okay, monkfish. Okay, so monkfish is an ugly fish. <laughs> okay. Probably the mean. ugliest fish, <laughs> one of the ugliest fishes, right? Right. So it's got a really big mouth and little teeny <laughs> eyes, and it's flat. Okay. And it, it, it wanders on the bottom of the ocean in the mud and stuff, right? Yeah. Sounds and, appealing. Yes. <laughs> and it's a fish that should get, should get discovered because it's inexpensive. Expensive. Yeah, it's very lean. It's a great tasting fish. It doesn't. It, there's not too much flavor, so it pairs up with all kinds of things. Okay. Um, and it's it looks great. meaty. It, it looks, looks like very a lot yeah. There. So it, it doesn't flake. So it's oh, the perfect good. fish that you can use when you for a long cooking process, like a stew okay. or something like that. Okay, good. Okay. So basically, when you it buy is. it at, uh, at the, the grocery uh, store, yeah, the, the grocery fishmonger. store, the fishmonger, uh, you're gonna get a fillet of uh, monkfish. Okay. okay. And there's like a gray membrane on. It that looks a little bit like this. Yeah. Okay. It's even grayer than that. So this is like underneath. You want the fishmonger to remove it. Easily remove. They'll do it for you. Okay. Piece of cake. Okay. okay? Good. So we're gonna start giving it a bit of flavor. Let's do that. So a little bit of olive oil in a pan. Mm-hmm. And monkfish, really, guys, discover monkfish. Go out, buy some because it's a meaty fish. Um, what would you? They call it the poor it man. They call it the poor man's lobster. Because oh. the texture and the flavor tastes a bit like lobster. That's good. That's yeah, a good smell. That's very good, right? I mean, after the way you started, the ugly fish at the bottom <laughs> of the ocean. Exactly. At the bottom of the sea. So, like, now it's lobster. Exactly. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of anchovies. anchovies, right? And we want them to melt in the pan. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to raise the heat here a little bit. So anchovies and, are nice to add yeah, that salty. Saltiness, yeah, and it always, anchovies always gives a lot of flavor, even like yeah. in dressings and stuff. So yeah. you just want to work them with a fork, and you really want them to disintegrate basically in your pan. Okay. As easy as that. And people that don't like anchovies at home won't even know that they're in there probably. Perfect. Okay? Yeah, I like so, them now though. Ex well, there you go. Yeah, I got over it. You got over it? Yeah, I got over it. Oh, I'm see? like, I'm okay with anchovies, I'm okay with sardines. I you must like have it. a lot of so, Italian Mediterranean friends. Maybe. There you go. Yeah, maybe that's it. So at this point, we're going to add, and this is an easy, easy recipe, weeknight recipe. So okay. we add a little bit of onion, mm -hmm. just like this. We're going to add some garlic. Okay. You said weeknight, and now I want to tell them the story of what happened one weeknight recently. What happened? What happened? You got, you got engaged. I did. I did. I did. I wasn't expecting that one, but I did. I did. Because Listen. I'm the sort of person that's like, you've been together for 13 years. Yeah. Why aren't you married? 13 years, three, three kids. kids, two houses. Let's I'm like, go. Ah. And the two girls are crying. Yeah, and you know, it's, it's kind of fun because I, I realize that the girls now will be able to participate. Yes. You know, when we get married, which is, which is fun. Yeah. Wow. When's, when's the wedding? I, I feel a tear. Uh, <laughs> no, but when's the wedding's the good question. Isabel said, we're getting married now. Okay, we're not going to wait another 10 years. Yes. I'm like, yes, okay, well, we are. It's going to happen. So basically, I sauteed onions and uh, garlic yes. with, the with the anchovies. I'm going to add the monkfish. So guys, this goes in right just like that. Okay. And look how easy this is, okay? So this goes in, perfect. Nice big chunks because mm -hmm. it's like a meaty stew, you know? Yep. We're going to season with a little bit of salt, just Good. like that, and a little bit of pepper. And then we need to add tomato, and I'm gonna add some edamame in there, okay? Yeah. I like how you say it. Yes. But like this is gonna add, um, this to me is a little bit unexpected, to put edamame in there. Like yes. it's gonna give you that, that soy, that flavor. It will. A little bit of green. It will, and I mean, again, if you don't have the edamame in there, you can add, uh, you know, like, uh, peas, whatever you'd like. Yeah. So basically, edama may go in here. Nice. Tomatoes go in so here. So good for you, and tomatoes obviously. Look at this. Amazing for yes. you. Yes. And we stir this, and we simmer this for 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, that's easy. And that's it. That's it. That's it. So this simmers as long as the fish is cooked. Yeah. That's what we need. So if we leave it cooked, we'll come to this side. I have the fish already cooked. What I want to add here, I have some tarragon. I have nice. some mint. Mint. Yeah. Mint is amazing. And I have a bit of fresh parsley. Okay. So we just want to chop this up, give it a nice rough chop, and just finish the dish. So the dish is nice and hot. 
serve it in a nice bowl. Yeah. Add a little bit of fresh herbs right over top. It's beautiful, Stefano. Beautiful chef. And that's it. Pretty easy, eh?